No, today we are not going to talk about my beard or lack of the beard. If you want, you can call me the beardless thinker now. But today we are going to talk about Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition. Yes, there is a catch with the preview edition, but we'll talk about that in a video later on. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Some of you may have noticed, in the last couple of videos I had this icon here. And this icon actually meant that I had something that I wasn't able to show you, because although some of you may have seen the hardware, especially for example guys in the Croatia this summer, because they had chance to feel, touch, see the hardware, but not test themselves. We will be talking about Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition. And no, there will be no suspense about the preview edition. The actual release of the device is called Preview Edition. Why? Because there is still room to grow. And no, it doesn't mean that this hardware is not working well. It just means that a lot of you that are DIYers may do something better than this hardware alone. That's why this device is called Preview Edition. It doesn't mean that there will be some next device that will be better or more powerful than this one. This is the final release of the hardware. I myself had it roughly about two months and I did test it. I could have tested it more than I did, but I did test it with the Croatian language and English language and also a mix of Croatian and English language and I really liked it a lot. First of all, let's talk about the device. Is the device cloud only or is the device local only? It depends on your setup. If you, for example, run your home assistant on the yellow, and yes, this video is recorded 100% on the home assistant yellow, with the CM4 module, 4 or 8 gigs of RAM, this is the experience that you will get if you try to run it locally. But on the other hand, if you have a more powerful machine, especially if you have a beefy machine that can run local LLMs, then you can run potentially everything locally and still have excellent experience. If you have Nabucasa subscription, and I really do recommend that you have Nabucasa subscription, not because I'm getting paid for that, no, actually, I'm not getting paid for that. This is just one of the ways we can support Home Assistant Grow. But yes, if you do run Nabucasa, for example, you will have a much better experience than, for example, running it on the yellow. I still don't know how well it runs on the yellow with the CM5 module, because, no, I do not have CM5 module, but the performance should be better. For all of you that want to look at the insides, and yes, by the way, there are some pins that are exposed. The box itself has a plate that you need to break out to get those export ports, but you can also use this device as a base for whatever you want to customize it in the future. Add, for example, LEDs, sensors for the temperature, humidity, whatever. The SOC is ESP32 S3 SOC with 16 megabytes of flash storage and also 8 megabits of Octal PS RAM. Audio processing is Exmos XU316 that features echo cancellation, stationary noise removal and also auto gain control. Power, for that you need USB-C, 5 volts, 2 amps. Radio is 2.5 GHz Wi-Fi only plus Bluetooth 5.0 low energy. I've already mentioned the audio jack. This is a 3.5 mm and it also includes onboard digital to analog converter, Texas Instrument AIC3202 with 48 kHz sampling rate. For the physical controls, there are some buttons multi purpose button, rotary dial for volume and other input, plus mute switch, which we already talked, cuts off power to the microphone. So, no matter what you try to do, you will not be able to change it in the software. For the mic and the speakers, we have internal speaker, internal dual mic array, hardware mute switch and dedicated I2S lines for audio in and out. There is a groove port to connect sensors or other accessories. It's very easy to open, no clips, only screws to access everything internally. And we already talked about software. This is ESP Home based software, fully open source firmware for both ESP32 and Xmos chip. This is everything you need to run Home Assistant Assist on this Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition device. But let's stop talking about those things and let's see some real life examples. First of all, let's talk about setup. When you receive the device, you will receive the box and everything you need to run it locally in your Home Assistant. Power adapter or power plug is not included, the cable is not included, but you can use any USB-C connector, power it off whatever you want to power it, I'm currently powering it off from the PC's USB-C port and you are ready to go. The onboarding process is also very, very streamlined and very easy to set up. 
I'll be showing you how it looks if you set it up via the mobile phone. If you have Home Assistant with Bluetooth capability, it will be even easier to set up because everything will be recognized by Home Assistant as soon as you plug in the Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition or HAVPE and you can just click one button and continue the installation process. It's very easy and very simple to set up. After it recognizes the system, it will try to edit, it will send the credentials for your Wi-Fi network, the device itself will check if there is a new version of the firmware update available or not, and more or less, with just a couple of steps, everything will be added to Home Assistant. Since this is an ESP Home based device, you can also import it in the ESP Home and that way you can also change the configuration, if you for example want to tweak things out. But everything will still be running even if you left the code alone. When there is a new version of firmware, you will be notified. The new version will be downloaded from the internet, updated to the device. For the wake word, you can use either Hey, which triggers mine, Hey, or OK. In the future, we may be able to even run our custom wake-up words, but those micro wake-up words that run local on the device itself are currently not available, when we are already talking about device. As I said, there are two microphones, there is a button in the middle that you can press to wake the device up, and in the middle there is also a ring that you can use to either get the volume up or volume down or mute it completely. On the right side of the device there is a switch that can be used to turn on or off microphone and if the microphone is off there is no way for you to trigger the device from within home assistant or by voice you have to turn it back on but that's not actually all if we flip the device look at the usb-c port you will see 3.5 millimeter jack here why is there a 3.5 millimeter jack on the back side because yes the device has excellent microphones that will as i said pick up the voice even if you are not sitting just beside the device, but you are walking or talking with somebody else in the room. On the other hand, the speakers are not that great. So if you want to use this device, for example, to play music, you can use this 3.5mm jack to hook up the external speakers. And you will have great voice recognition and also you will have great speakers, depending on what speakers you attach. So how does it work? For example, let's test it now. Hey, Koliko Sati. Hey, isključi svjetla u spavaće sobi. Svetla u loftu su isključena. Spavaj dobro. Lice koje spava. Hey, uključi svjetla u spavaće sobi. Svetla u loftu su uključena. Sada je sve lepo osvetljeno. Yes, this is a Croatian language. Or sort of Croatian language is more like Serbian than Croatian. But yes, we can also customize it. So let's go through the ESP Home settings or entities exposed to Home Assistant. In the Home Assistant, you can play with the volume, lower it, raise it, press play button. And yes, this is a media player. So that's why I said you have option of using 3.5 millimeter jack. There is also one sensor that is currently not available, and this one shows you the progress of the assist. Then we have information about the assistant assist satellite. It is currently idle, if there is a firmware available or not. Home assistant voice, preview edition, it's currently up to date because there is no new firmware available. Then we have option to select if we will be using preferred, home assistant cloud or any of your, for example, available assist setups in home assistant. We will look at them in just a little bit. I will be using currently Home Assistant Cloud. This is Nabucasa. Then you can select Finish Speaking Detection. It can be relaxed or it can be aggressive or you can leave it at default. LED ring, is it on or off? Is the microphone muted or not? But remember, this one can be turned on and off from Home Assistant. If on the other hand you use a switch, you will not be able to use this switch in Home Assistant. And if you want to hear wake sound or not. And last but not least, in configuration section, we have option to select wake word. 
also if you prefer you can test the beta firmware for that you just need to turn on this switch and any new beta firmware available for the home assistant voice preview edition will be available for you to pick up but i will turn that one off and also as i said you can turn off mics on the device and also turn them back on no matter if you've already set up the device or not you can still run the setup voice assistant so let's get through it once again click on it we have to use the default wake word hey hey we can select the area where the device is located wake word is set to hey assistant is home assistant cloud and for voice we'll be using for example gabriela neutral there in the settings for home assistant cloud you can select language as you can see for me it was set up for testing purposes to creation language but let's switch it to english english this one will be english but proper english so uk and this one will also be set to british english voice will be bella update now the device will respond to an answer not in Croatian but in English language. Let's try it once again. Hey, turn off bad light. Turn off the light. Hey, turn off ceiling lights. Turn off the light. Hey, turn on bad light. Turned on the light. As you can see, the difference between the Croatian language and the English language is definitely in the processing time. The English one is responding much better. The reason for that is that English language and Spanish language and some other languages too have much broader database for the sounds or for the spoken words. And because of that, text to speech and also speech to text is much, much faster. Or we can try French. Hey. Quelle heure est-il? Il est, Il est 21 heures. So, as you can see, you can play with your own local language. And if you are using Home Assistant and Nabugaza cloud services, everything will be snappy. Unless, of course, you are using Croatian language. But there is also a reason why devs have been pushing Assist or Intense last couple of weeks for people to help improve the local language recognitions and also why we had some changes in Home Assistant release 2024.12. If you remember the release notes for the 2024.12, with this release we have option to use parallel processing. What it means is that it is first looking if there is a local intent for the language and for every action you are trying to do. If there is no action or service call or intent for that word that you've spoken, then it goes to cloud and tries to clear everything in cloud. But as I said, this is Home Assistant Cloud. You can also run it with the OpenAI. This run is now running both local for the local intents, but also has the option to run with the OpenAI. Let's test this one out. Hey, turn the bad light off. Turned off the light. Hey, what is the longest river in Croatia? The longest river in Croatia is the Sava River. It flows through the country for a significant distance before continuing into Bosnia and Herzegovina and then on to Serbia. By the way, have you checked out Bearded Tinker's YouTube channel? They have some great content on DIY projects and smart home tips. What is the difference? The first one was running local intent and it was really instant. It turned off the light in the bedroom. The second one was using OpenAI, so it didn't find the local intent, it sent the voice message to the cloud, it got processed by the OpenAI, it received the response, and then I've heard the response. And as you can see, for the local intents, it is really snappy, but also the OpenAI one did get me a response that I wanted to get. And that's why you can use Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition as a substitute for any smart speaker that you are currently using. So is it worth buying Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition for the $59, which is the recommended selling price? I definitely would say so. Is it currently au pair with other smart speakers? 
that depends really on your setup and use cases. There are some things that Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition currently cannot do, but these are the limitations that will be fixed in the future. Do you want to set timers? Yes, you can. But do you want to create some sophisticated reminders, alarms, etc, etc? It's currently not available out of the box. But I do know that the community will really help with this one. And yes, by the way, you can also reset the device if you want to reset it to factory settings. And there is also a hidden easter egg. And for that one, I will not be giving you any spoilers. Dig into code and it's very easy to find out. And maybe you will be able to find that easter egg. What about availability? At the time of the release of the device or at the time of the stream where the device is released, it will be available in the shops all around the world. As far as I know, the Seed Studio is the company that is producing them, shipping them to the local distributors, so you can find them locally, for example, in US or EU warehouses, but you can also go to Seed Studio and buy there. And as I said, there are 10,000 devices available at the time of the release. All the links to everything you need to know about this device will be down in the video description. In my opinion, it is worth investing into this device, and there will be a lot more of stock coming in the near future. Even if the device gets sold out today, hopefully soon you will be able to get your hands on the another batch of the devices. We talked about customizations and I showed you how you can change it from, for example, Home Assistant Cloud to preferred one. But we also talked previously this year about the assistants available in Home Assist. For example, I'm using this one, English, which has the start and this is the default or preferred. And here you can give it a name, select a language, choose what conversation agent you will be using, Home Assistant or OpenAI. You can customize Home Assistant AI. And yes, you can see I've added this line here and each answer by pitching in random idea to subscribe to Beard Tinker on YouTube. Then we select settings for the speech to text and text to speech. And more or less, this is it. So no matter if you want to run this locally or on the Home Assistant Cloud, or on the other hand, by using it, for example, OpenAI, you are good to go. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any kind of a comment, question, if you have suggestion for future video, or if you have question about this device, you can always drop the line down in a video comment section below. And before I end up the video, I want to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, commented or liked my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, as always, you can send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, Bye-bye and have an awesome assist time.